And we've seen uh, a renewed interest, if, if that's fair to say, with the greatest respect in Craig Noon since the weekend in particular. Obviously, one performance, uh, he'll want to do a lot more than that, but uh, it certainly was a, a very solid performance, like the old Craig Noon on Saturday. He earned his start against Leeds, and there's no doubt and he's earned that tonight as well. Right, it'll be left-footed in swinger towards the centre of the area. Oh, that's a good save by McGregor, but it's put in at the second time of asking. And Derby lead here at Pride Park. It's Julian Dessart with the touch from two yards out. Very little McGregor could do after a good initial save, but it's uh, a disappointing start to this fixture at Pride Park, which has now erupted into the way. Seven minutes old, Derby County Julian one, Dessart. Cardiff City nil by a goal to nil and it's been a slow start by Cardiff it's fair to say no time for a reaction Matt Connolly puts the ball forward towards the edge of the area Butterfield's back there to hook away Sol Bamba's underneath it lovely first touch by him picks out Gunnison who controls well and finds Noon clips that forward nice ball to Zohor lovely back heel from him to Gunnison edge of the area Noon inside the box still Craig Noon shoots and it blocked and it's gone for a corner great football Gunnison battling in the middle of the park with Butterfield. The ball falls kindly to Jazz Richards. Plays that towards Kadeem Harris in the air. He was never really going to get that. It's taken off him by Chris Beard, the veteran fullback, and Ince comes forward infield on his left foot, finds Hughes. Takes a step away from Bamba over on that far right hand touchline. Hughes in field to Ince. Didn't get a hold of that. Fell kindly for Darren Bent. And it's 2 0 to Derby. It's awful luck for Cardiff because in scuffed his shot, bounced into the path of Bent, and he just had to toe poke it home. Well, there was too much space in behind City there as they played that ball into Kadeem Harris up the other end of the pitch, and as Derby cleared, they just had too much for City as uh, Will Hughes and Tomins uh, played the ball between them. Then a strike of luck there, a strike of luck there as uh, Ince. Took a, a strike at goal and it's just deflected over to uh, to Darren Bent there at the far post. Again, Alan McGregor has no chance. Derby's um, FA Cup fourth round game against Leicester, in which the former England man scored one of the uh, one of the best on goals I've seen on his own goal line. It was uh, with about as much grace as uh, as that was, in fairness, but. Uh, it counts, it doesn't it, and uh, it means Derby lead 2-0. Cardiff come forward, though, looking for another reply. Harris in the box, shoots, forces a save out of Carson. It will be a corner. Gunnison and Bamba trying to... G up their teammates in fairness. Two good responses to go in two goals are behind, but that's no good, really. Craignan with a corner, left-footed. Into the mix, Carson rises, it comes out to Bamba, still alive. Zohor tries to head on, and it was uh, Halford who was stretching. Well, that'll go for a goal kick. Disappointing start to this game, 18 minutes old, Cardiff trail by two goals to nil. Here is Will Hughes midway inside the Cardiff half, clips that into Anya inside the area. Lovely first touch to get away from Bamba, who recovered well. And to put that out for a throw in to the hosts. Connolly, good footwork to come away out of defence and pick up Joe Rawls. Halford. Goes backwards to his goalkeeper, McGregor. Clears into Derby territory. Loose from Keogh. Gunnison picks that out. Zohor finds Rawls. Uh, Butterfield did well. Long ball forward looking for Anio. Gets away momentarily from Morrison. He recovered well. Cardiff can come forward again. Here's Rawls once more. Middle of the park. Good ball to find Harris, but uh, equally good tackle. There's a bit of bite in this game. No love in the air tonight, this Valentine's Day. Here's Tom Ince. Trying to break for Derby. Square ball, Anio inside the area. And now Bent. And it's gone for a corner. And Chris Powell and Kevin Phillips are fuming on the touchline. And Derby were trying to be too clever there. Anio should have shot first time. Greg Halford. Coming through the middle of the park, tries to slide in Gunnison. 
a little too heavy for him, as was his touch, and Derby will look to break. And may well do here through Ince, running at Bamba. Into the area, Bamba is back, Ince comes in field, still going though, Tom Ince strikes. Great save by McGregor, and it's done just enough to ensure that goes onto the roof of the net rather than bounce this side of it. But Derby, are just, well, they're just killing Cardiff on the counter. Very comfortable, this Derby midfield. Now Richard Keogh comes forward, slides in. Ince, corner of the area again. Derby come once more. Poor cross from Ince. Connolly is able to clear. Oh, and rolls, intercepts well off Butterfield. And frees Kenneth Zohor. Good first touch, a little awkward for... The striker does well, holds up possession. Comes in field to Kadeem Harris. 20 yards from goal, central position. Harris shoots, didn't get hold of it. Carson gathers. Well, after Rules won the ball there on about the halfway line, City did everything right. It was a great... Darren Bent looks to free Anya into the channel. Morrison's back there. Goes the ball to McGregor. He kicks out. Desart gets in ahead of Zohor. Derby come again through Hughes. Ince running at Jazz Richards into the area again. Tom Ince back to Hughes, edge of the box, left foot, did strike, just dips the right side of the bar as far as Carliff are concerned. But it will be another corner, took a deflection. Looks to show that trickery just to find a bit of space to get a shot away. Doesn't quite manage it, but it's Aaron Gunnison to take a throw in now. Here comes Gunnison's delivery, Morrison goes up for it, is headed out by Darren Bent. Charles Richards has to go back. And here comes the inevitable McLaren appearance. He's like a rock star turning up late to the party, isn't he? Good layoff by Zoho. Harris edge of the area. That's a go! Kadeem Harris has got one back for City. And it came out of nothing, really. But Harris has lofted that over Carson. And into the back of the net. And given City a lifeline, it's that old spirit that they found under Neil Warnock that has allowed them to chip away against the flow and get themselves back into the game may have taken a slight deflection but nonetheless it means it's Derby 2, Cardiff 1 and just as the Derby manager decided to emerge to have a shout at a few of his players it seemingly distracted them, Cardiff took advantage Ince is uh, tackled well again by Richards. Derby having to go backwards. Cardiff have just come to the races a little more. Halford, firm challenge, did well. And plays a good ball downfield for Zohor to chase. And he's got in behind Keogh. Now needs some support, running towards the goal line. Zohor, infield, into the area. As a go, right-footed Carson is able to gather. Didn't have much on in fairness that time. And uh, Aaron Gunnison will take the long throw from the Cardiff right into the area. Good looking ball. Halford's first to it. Morrison's in there. And it's a goal. Cardiff have scored. And it's Kadeem Harris again. What a start to the second half. Derby two, Cardiff two. Aaron Gunnison's long throw in there into the box. And it just caused havoc for the Derby defence there. Morrison uh, got his head on it first, I think, and uh, the ball just came back to Kadeem Harris in the six-yard box. He's been City star man tonight, and he's made no mistake finding the back of the net. What a great start to the second half for the Bluebirds. It's a minute and a half old. And now throws into the six-yard box. Bodies go up again. It comes back to Jazz Richards, keeps it alive. Noon inside the area. Zohor on the turn. Morrison falls to the hands of Carson in the end but Cardiff for the side looking more likely to score. Oh, City have got all the momentum now and that long throw from Gunnison caused problems again. Unfortunately it fell on Zahor's right foot but still he managed to get a shot away and it was deflected up into the arms of Carson but if it had been either side of him it might have caused him a couple of problems. As Tom Ince though finds Butterfield in the middle of the park bent. It's poor between those two. The Derby fans aren't happy either. Charles Richards able to clear Keogh heads it straight back to the advancing Joe Rawls. Still coming forward, edge of the area, Rawls onto his left foot. Strikes at goal, pulls it just wide. Goal kick. We've got a game on our hands here. Responded in kind and Halford's done well. 
going back and going forward. He returns to the field momentarily. How long he'll be with us, we're not sure. Alan McGregor kicks long into the derby half. Here is Halford. His first touch since being injured falls kindly to Craig Noon on his left foot. Craig Noon makes it 3-2 Cardiff and it's one of those Noon goals. Think Wolves, think Fulham, think Craig Noon. Unbelievable from Craig Noon. It came to Greg Halford. He just came back onto the pitch. He found Noon on the right and as Noon cut in, you knew one place that was going. He curls it into the top corner. Unbelievable. What a comeback. This has been Derby County 2, Cardiff City 3 and we just did not expect this. Two for Harris, one for Noon. And the Cardiff fans away to our right are delighted with what they're seeing. He comes forward, gets away from Zohor and picks up Will Hughes. Did well. Now Hughes has a little bit of space to run. Looks a slip in Q, who continued his run. And the referee's given a free kick on the edge of the area. Penalised sold Bamba. It's a little cheap. But it's a good position with the likes of Butterfield, Hughes and uh, Ince lurking. Tom Ince steps up, left-footed over the wall, takes a deflection corner. Well, the wall does its job there. McGregor was certainly trusting that wall as he was standing yeah. right next to his post on the other side of the goal. If it had managed to leap over that wall, I don't think he was going to get across there. But uh, it's out for this corner. Derby still wait on those two substitutions. It will be a corner this near side, the Derby right. Ints to take again, left-footed deep towards the back post. Pierce rises. Bamber and Morrison do enough, but it falls to Hughes, bouncing inside the area. Gunnison, brilliant bravery. And Zohar comes away. Cardiff a break, and it's four against two. Zohar, midway inside the derby half. He's got rules inside him. He goes alone. And that was a little greedy, you have to say. Rawls and Kadeem Harris in space out on the left, and there's heads in hands. What a moment that could have been. I hope that's not a defining moment of this game, Mark. Sorry there, but uh, City uh, had a great chance on the break there. Four men over, and, uh, and it was greedy from Zahor to go for the shot. Now here comes Butterfield at the other end. Oh, and it's gone just wide. McGregor was stretching. You can't take your eyes off it here at Pride Park. And now come the substitutions to give us all a little respite. Chris Beard, the fullback, comes off. Johnny Russell on for Derby. Which means Anya will go into a right wing back position and uh, Russell out to the left of a front three. And the other change is Will Hughes, surprisingly, for David Nugent. Recently, Aaron Gunnison, that in fact it was on in the city that he, that Cardiff are looking for ways of scoring from that long third. They haven't done it enough. They've done it once tonight. And Gunnison launches a second time into the area. Morrison's first to it and heads towards goal. It's just wide this time and Carson seemed comfortable on that occasion. You said they were looking for uh, ways to score from those long throws, Mark, and uh, they nearly did it again there as uh, Sean Morrison rose highest. And when he does rise highest, you expect him to, uh, to get a good header on that ball with the height that he's got. Right-footed in swinger from Butterfield. Decent-looking ball header from Russell off the line by Jazz Richards. He was well-positioned. It'll be a throw to Derby, 10 yards in from the corner flag, this near side, the right. That's brilliant from Jazz Richards. Uh, Darren Bent was lurking at that far post. Controls with his chest, has to go back. Well, Derby, again, missing passes, back in their own half. Frustrated Steve McLaren, Butterfield, long ball forward. Bent has stayed onside, but that's to, he's pushed all the way back to the corner flag, finds Johnny Russell. To take on Connolly. Over on that far side. Cuts inside of Connolly, does well. Noon. Oh, stood tall. And clears towards the halfway line. Pierce gathers and can pump it forward once more. But the field turns inside of Rawls. 1 2 with Russell. Now Olsen. Left footed. Good looking delivery. Bent rises and scores. And it's 3 3. <laughs> Cardiff players unhappy. But uh, you have to say that uh, that was a little bit straightforward from a Cardiff perspective. Disappointing. It is disappointing. He's uh, won the header too easily there. And uh, McGregor was never going to save that into the bottom corner. Just watched it hit the back of the net. 
disappointed for the Bluebirds. A few appeals that uh, there might have been a foul there as uh, Bent rose to head it. But uh, it's real. Great stuff from Kadeem this evening again. McGregor with the goal kick. We're in the final minute of this one. Healy being manhandled. Zohor. Healy maybe through here inside the area. Takes on his man. Goes to ground. Referee gives a penalty to Cardiff. Drama here. Rhys Healy broke away. Zohor played him in. Healy got away from his man and his ankles were taken. I think it was Alex Pierce. So it means in the final minute of this extraordinary game, Cardiff City have an opportunity from the penalty spot. Joe Rawls will be the man to take it. He scored against Reading. No Peter Whittenham out here. All or nothing. Ten seconds of the 90 left. Joe Rawls steps up. And he scores! Derby three, Cardiff four! Incredible. It's a penalty that Joe Rawls has taken with uh, such composure. He's found the corner of the net. And unbelievable from Cardiff City. Looked to have won it here at Pride Park. Reese Healy went clear. Was taken down from behind to give the penalty to the Bluebirds. And it's 4-3 at Pride Park. He's left. Can City hold on to this 4-3 lead they have at Pride Park? Bamba wins that in the air. But it falls to Ince. Good tackle, Reese Healy. And he gets away from Tom Ince. And he's still going the youngster. And Hoylett can take this to the corner again. If not better. He's been so good, Reese Healy, since he's come on. Hoylett wins the throw. We're in the final minute of stoppage time. All, and I stress all Cardiff have to do, is make sure that for the next 60 seconds or so, that ball stays in that part of the field. Noon to Zoho. Winter corner for Cardiff. 30 seconds left. Hoylett and Sohawk go over to make sure the ball stays in that area of the field. Oh, Zohor does well. It's a, oh, the goal kick's been given against him, but... Uh, looks as if he'd done enough there. Time against Derby. Scott Carson. We've had the six minutes. That's it. Carson puts it in the air. The referee blows the whistle. The Cardiff away contingent... Go wild, and it's a famous night for Neil Warnock's Bluebirds. What an unbelievable match, Mark. I think we're just about managing to calm down from that final goal, but a unbelievable from Neil Warnock's men to, uh, to silence Pride Park here. We thought it was uh, all over for City after, uh, after that um, incredible, uh, well, after the equaliser from Derby, but uh, we did not see that coming as uh, Reece Healy was brought down for that penalty. And City have won it 4-3. <laughs>